Hey guys, my name is Jennifer and I am Genevieve Designs. We are going to add some interactive elements to one of the back sides of our fins. So we're actually going to start with the third fin in this video. We are, last video we went and added some sort of pocket to the back side of each fin. And when I mean back side, this is the front side of the fin, right, with the interactive element that we already did. And then this is the middle, middle, <laughs> this is the middle. And then this is the back side. So uh, on three of the pockets in the last video, or on three of the fins, we added side pocket inserts. And on two of the fins, we added shorter pocket flip uh, pages. So we are gonna start with the third fin today on the back side. And this is the Simply Magical landscape version. And we are using the 49 and Market Curators Botanical. We're using both the physical and the digital. They're both linked down below. And I have a playlist for this album. It starts from the beginning and works its way through. And you can find that up here in the cards and down below in the description box. Takes you step by step. And there's also a Amazon list for this project, which is linked down below. So, what we need for the templates, from the templates, I've already printed it and got it ready to go, is page L10. So these are the gatefold doors and we've already did another version of them in the album and I'll show you that in a minute. But what I did, we're going to do a different version of this. I printed it off twice onto 80 pound white cardstock and I just printed the plain version and for each one I left one of the short tabs, or one of the end, whichever end, the top or the bottom, whichever one you want, and I cut the rest off. Okay, so I did that to both, and I cut it out and kept it together. I scored it here, and I scored it here, and I put tape on the tab that we left, and it's gonna be like this. It's gonna attach to the page like this. So it's still gonna be a gate fold, but it's gonna open like this. Okay, so let me show you. Well, let's just go ahead and install it. So I think, actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tape them together with using some of that uh, tape that, oh, and I also inked. I have inked both sides of this cardstock. So we're making sure these two tabs are on opposite ends and we're going to match these up in the center. Oops. Like that and I'm going to tape it down really quick. This is low tack tape and I have used it many times. So it's definitely low tack <laughs> now. <laughs> I'm going to flip it over and burnish these tabs down and I'm going to remove the tape backing off of this one that we're going to be putting putting on this end here. I'm not go, we're not going over this score marks so this is like the third layer now. <laughs> so we got that side down and how are we looking on this side? Yep, that will be just fine. I'm going to flip it back this way I'm just being careful, and I'm going to take the tape backing off of there. Uh-oh, shoot, I wasn't careful enough, was I? So I'm going to match this back up. That's how low tack that tape is. Okay, and I'm going to put that down on that side. Okay, so let's now remove the low tack tape. I just wanted to make sure that it stayed where it's supposed to. And I'm going to burnish these two down. And I'm going to ink those top edges there. Okay. So the mats for L10 are on page, actually I'm going to go ahead and grab one, L28, and I've already cut out the mats for these, but I wanted to, I'm still going to, I've only, I've only cut out the mats for the front part, so 
that's as far as I've gotten so far. So that's as far as I've gotten so far. I've just done the front two mats, but the but the mats for that are an L28. So I wanted to tell you what I did. I took one of my uh, this this page here is from my floral and autograph and uh, shoot, companion paper collection. I've got something that keeps falling over over here. Hang on. And I took and printed it twice. So I, I picked it and I told it, I picked that one page, I told it to print it twice, and I told it to print two to a page. Okay? So that basically says it's, it's basically now like a five by seven ish, um, ish <laughs> page. So I then took and I traced one of the doors from this top one and then I went on to the other side and traced one of the doors on the bottom one but I didn't use this paper I just wanted to show you this is the paper I used so this is the so it, sh it would have looked like this no it would have looked like this right that would have been the page Print it out. Let me scoot you in a little bit. So here, you know, the two five by sevens. So I uh, traced this piece on from the top piece and then this piece from the bottom piece. So these two pieces are just extra scraps. I will use somewhere else along the line. Put those in my crafty companion. So I was going to put these two here, but then I was also, these are... These are the frames from the printable version of the um, Curators Botanical that are on the artist's website. And I had printed them four to a page. I think that's what this size was. And then I had my scan and cut, cut them out. But you can still fussy cut them out. And I was thinking about putting one attached to this side and one attached to this side like this so you know what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna go ahead and and do it and if it works it works if it doesn't it doesn't so but I do need to try to figure out the magnet situation so I think I'm gonna grab my magnets and see if I can't work this out <laughs> um, is there a magnet over here yes there is it's right oh, there so as long as I keep my magnets in the middle I think we'll be okay Okay. Actually, I'm just going to leave it sit there. <laughs> so, I need to decide exactly where I want to place these magnets as well. I think I'll just place them in the middle. We'll just do that. We'll place them in the middle and go from there. So, I'm going to place a dot there and a dot there. These are just glue dots. They are the permanent glue dots. I've been enjoying them because they're just the same size as the magnets. Put one there. I'm just sliding them off the top there. Putting one there. And I'm going to take a little bit of tape just to make sure they stay down. those and then I think what I'll do is go along the back side here like that I'm gonna draw a circle and then I'm gonna put a glue dot down where that circle is. Like that. 
Actually, that's not what I wanted to do, is it? Well, I think I'm going to have to do it that way. Because I really want to make sure that it stays down. So I'm thinking I'm going to have to do another magnet on the base here. What if I had, and if I have more inserts and stuff in here, I'll need actual magnets. Okay. That being said, I'm going to take and put some clear on there. Clear. I'm going to put a post-it note on there. Do that. That's how strong these glue dots are. It takes it right off the magnet, and those magnets are strong. Okay, press. Press. I think that's all the magnets we're going to need. That was a lot, but, but hey. Let me put some tape on these. Now I can mat these. So I'm going to take these, uh, the that tape backing off, and I'm going to use some liquid glue. And I'm going to use Fabri-Tac actually. And I'm going to glue these down. These were just, this, this here was just printed onto 28 pound paper from the Floral Autograph Companion Paper Collection. While that dries, I think I want to add, so I've inked these up, front and back, and I think I want to add some glue foil, glue foil, some gold foil, <laughs> to these. And I'm going to use the decorative foil stuff from Sizzix. And you know what, I'm going to grab a new sheet. Why not? Let's go crazy. So this one is gold. That's the, the color. And I'm going to grab my glue stick. And this is the distressed foiling. That's what I like to call it anyway. So I'm just going to like ink it like I was distressing edges. Then we're going to put the foil down. And we're going to give it a little press. didn't get very much, but that's okay. Do I need to press harder, I wonder? Or put more glue down, I wonder? It's like, it's like, um, it's like it turns out different every single time. And that's kind of one of the reasons I like it so much, is that it looks different and distressed every time. I'm going to do the other one. Okay, so somebody is now mowing their grass outside. So that's nice. <laughs> okay, I am going to, I think I'm going to do, I am going to attach this one here. Sophie. I'm going to attach this one here that has the blue flower, flowers and the blue butterfly. I'm going to attach it to this side. 
So the goal is it'll be attached to this side only and it'll pop up like this. Okay, that's my thoughts. Anyway, so I'm just gonna use the way this is set up. So I'm gonna actually, no actually, what am I gonna do? Actually, <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do actually. Okay, actually, <laughs> I'll say that one more time. <laughs> I'm gonna flip it to the back and I'm gonna try to find the center here and mark it a little bit. And that way I can put my glue on one side and I'm gonna use Fabri-Tac just so I have a minute to play. So I'm gonna put it on this side and I'm not gonna attach it all the way down. So it's just gonna be attached halfway or just a little bit halfway. And I'm going to find where I want to put this. Just like that. So it looks like that. So when you open it up, it goes like this. And then you'll have to do it like this. Yes. So cute. I love that. Okay. All right. So then the next one, what I'm going to do, again, I'm going to find the center. And I'm going to put the glue on this side. So I'm going to match it right up with this one underneath, except it's going to be attached to this, tar this part here. Okay, so you go like this. <laughs> it won't be, whoop, <laughs> it won't be so difficult when there's stuff in between and the magnets aren't like holding so tight. Right? Yes, so it goes like that. Oh, I love it. Do you guys love it? I think it's adorable. Okay, off camera, I went ahead and did all the mats for this part and the two mats for this part. So I just literally took the mat for this page which is uh, L28, and I traced it. I, I went ahead and used that one sheet that I was showing you guys, and I traced two out of that. And then I've also printed off photo mats from the Photo Mats Essentials, the first one. I printed off several pages. This is what it looks like in the Etsy store, uh, Etsy shop. Uh, I printed off several pages because we're going to be using them throughout this layout. These are the three by four photo mats. There's like four to a page. But this, that, uh, the photo mats are included in that collections list that I have listed down below of all the printables from my shop that um, I'm using in this project. So it's in there so you can find it pretty easy. So I traced two out of that paper. I'm going to set that aside. And then I have two of my shades of color. These are number 11 and number 14 of the shades of color 2. So it's like the medium shade of the blue and the purple. And I traced two each out of each one of those. And then already attached the 3 by 4 photo mats to them. So those are going to go on the back side. So I already did that. Easy, easy. And then this, for this mat, so this is the main base page. This is the mat for the main base page. And I took it from here. This is one of the pages from the paper collection. And I just traced it out 
from there and cut it out and inked it up. So that's gonna mat this entire sheet right here. So let's start there. I'll just go ahead and let's scooch it in a little bit. So I will just go ahead and take all of this off and we'll use some Fabri-Tac to, to glue the mat down. So I'm going to take these little pieces of tape off and put Fabri-Tac on the back side here. Oops. And I'm just going to go around that was just a little. I'm going to set this in place. Grab. I just, whoop, my printer is saying, hey, I'm just going to make sure that I got that down. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. Stop. Pull it up. Pull it up. Pull it up. <laughs> I got one more thing to add. Shooty doodle. Okay. What am I going to do? I think I'm just going to leave this. I'm just going to leave. <laughs> I'm going to leave that there. I don't want it to be down yet. Dang it. Okay, I've got, I'm going to add another piece. We're going to add another element to that. Um, so, oh so the, like the way I did these, I'm going to do these two exactly the same way, except I'm going to do them with you on camera. I'm trying to keep that up so it doesn't like go down and seal. I'm going to take my 3x4 stamp from my photo mats. Um, my photo mats from my stamp set that me and Maymay did. And then I'm going to glue these down. I'm going to use art glitter glue now. I'm going to glue these down to the center of those. as best I can because it's not a square or it's not a perfect fit I guess I should say it's not a square <laughs> So I'm just going to attach these down to each one of these with Fabri-Tac so I can have a little bit of wiggle room. See, can you? There you go. Sorry about that. So I just attach that down there. Then I'm going to come to this side, and you can see that. Oh, grab the wrong pumpkin. That needs to stay there. Move that tape backing. We're going to put some fabric tack. Right, 
so you can still add your photo there no problem right and so you can still see it if you just wanted to see it like that you can still see it so uh, you can still see the full image so I like that so now I'm gonna go and flip this over like this so this is the back side of that I can't flip it because of the thingy so I'm gonna do one blue and one purple photo mats I'm gonna do that on both sides Okay, so I did want to point out that these photo mats and these photo mats, they're all printed onto 28 pound copy paper. They are not printed on cardstock. So that way it's not as bulky. That's what my goal was anyway. So it wouldn't be as bulky. Um, and the same for the ones in here, okay? So I wanted to tell you guys that. So let me show you what I was gonna put here. I almost wanted to put photo mats here, but I, ch I changed my mind. I kind of like it being like, I don't know, secret. <laughs> All the photos are secret. So what I'm wanting to put here is you guys. Okay, hold on, let me get it. Okay, out of the enhancement pack, so this is the Simply Magical Enhancement Pack, page E5, I printed the vintage background design set of templates. I printed page E5. Um, on cardstock on 80 pound white cardstock i had to cut down one of my bigger pieces of cardstock i don't know when my case of paper is going to come but hopefully it'll be soon <laughs> i didn't need it so i've cut it apart so we're not going to be using these two pieces right here for right now but i did write on there that they're the page number e5 and then on this bottom part here i just left this top tab on and cut off the other three tabs and I put tape on the remaining tab on the back side, not the vintage side, but the, but the back side. And I inked everything and notched it and all of that, so I did that. This one I cut out and put tape on all three of the tabs, and they do not overlap on, on the back side there. And then on this one, I put the tape on the plain side, not the pattern side. I put it on the plain side and put tape there and inked up both sides. So I also took this mat, which is uh, on page E20, but I just traced this mat onto this cardstock, right? So let me show you the piece of cardstock. This was the page I traced it from. I wanted that butterfly right here. <laughs> so I went ahead and, and just traced it out. I just kind of placed it exactly where I wanted it and traced it out and cut it out of this piece of cardstock. So I've got those two. And then out of the photo mats, I've got two more photo mats. These were actually on the same page. I just cut the black border off of this one and left the black border on this one. So let's put this together really quick and then I will, I need to decide if I need to put a magnet though. Um, let's see, okay, I know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I'm gonna attach this flap down to the top okay. I didn't cut it out very well I didn't cut the base out very well it's overlapping a little I wonder if it's gonna matter much should I trim it down a little let me just take my scissors and do it if I cut I cut the base too narrow so then the the this uh, flap here is just sticking out just a little too much on one side so I'm just gonna cut that off and go back and ink it back up and then I'm gonna place the pocket I'm gonna place the bottom tab on here like that and I think I will do a magnet except I'm gonna do a magnet and then the magnet saver up here on this side is what I'm gonna do so mark this down here just so I know I need it to be and then I'm gonna mark this boop, boop. 
I need it to be in the middle there. So I'm gonna grab a magnet and I need to be real careful because I mean, yep, yep. Okay, I'm just trying to make sure that it's um, not gonna push away anything. So I think it needs to go, whoop. I think it needs to go right here. Except it's gonna go on the back side here. Oh no, that's not right. Yeah, it is. That covers that, and that covers that. Yeah. I just need Put a piece of tape on that. All right, and then I'm going to close this. And then I'm going to do a magnet saver. It doesn't need to be that big. What I want to do though is I want to make sure. So I'm going to stick it. Actually, I'm going to stick it on the back side here, and I'm going to just put a little glue. So when it's on there, it will find it and attach down. Yep. All right. All right, now I'm going to glue the whole piece on there. It's funny. Okay. So that's going to go up in there. So we should, let's just go ahead and do that. We'll do that now. And I was going to try to center it, but um, probably not going to get it very good. And that's okay. I salvaged, I salvaged it, and believe it or not, that, I'm, well, let's go ahead and add some in there. Actually, I'm going to use my our glitter glue because it's got that little fine tip. Couldn't tell if it was squeezing out or not, and there was, there was plenty. So I'm going to mat the outside. Oh, I need to stamp these.
I do have, I have a couple of these photo mats from the Photo Mats Essentials that I was going to tuck in here. These are from the Photo Mats Essentials 2. I'm just going to tuck these in here like that, just for some more extra stuff. And then for behind here, I went ahead and actually had this one already printed. So this is one of the 4x6 photo mats out of the photo mats essentials, the first one. And it, it comes like this on the cardstock. And I just cut it out and I scored it in half. So it's now like a 4x6 booklet. So you got a 4x6 photo mat here, 4x6 here, 4 4x6 four here, and then on the back side is a 4x6. So I thought that would be fun to have tucked in here. And then I also have a double-sided 3x4 photo mat, and I thought that would be good tucked in there as well. I don't know if you should be able to see it on both sides or not. Right, so that, I think that's all we're going to do today. Let me scoot out just a little so you can see the whole thing. So these two go in like this. Everything still connects. The magnets still connect. So you open it up like this. And then this opens up. And then this flips down. And then you've got these loose photo mats here. I love it. And then, of course, you've got the, the photo mats back here. So that's a lot of photos. That's a lot of photo space. That is a lot of real estate. Okay, you guys, I think that's all I'm going to do today. I know that seemed like a lot. Well, to me, it seemed like a lot. And I really enjoyed the way it turned out. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you're going to give it a try. And be sure to give me a thumbs up. If you haven't um, subscribed to my channel already, be sure that you do that so you don't miss any further uploads or future uploads. And yeah, let me know what you think, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.